A lot of people believe because they can buy it in a supermarket that there are not really any significant risk associated with taking an OTC or over-the-counter drug, but nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, there are significant risks, um, and it's because of this situation about buying it in a supermarket that people become indifferent and don't want read the warning labels. Uh, let me give you an example of a drug. Uh, one drug is acetaminophen. Acetaminophen is a pain reliever, uh, and acetaminophen actually causes liver damage. And as a matter of fact, there were some statistics recently released by the FDA where they reported that about 56,000 Americans suffer liver damage as a consequence of exposure to acetaminophen. Uh, of that number, uh, about 26,000 are hospitalized and about 500 actually die as a consequence. Acetaminophen, in case you're not aware of it, is the main ingredient in Tylenol. Uh, so you go buy Tylenol, you know that there might be a problem associated with that. What's the real problem, however? The problem is that acetaminophen also appears in a lot of other products. As a matter of fact, in over 100 other products contain acetaminophen. And so you have a situation where frequently there is an overdose that occurs because people are taking it in different products. Now let me give you an example. If you have a sleep problem, maybe you might be using Excedrin PM, acetaminophen. Or if you have uh, allergies, maybe Benadryl, acetaminophen. A cold, NyQuil, all right? Got a cold, taking NyQuil, acetaminophen content. Uh, for you ladies that have any menstrual cramps, Midol, acetaminophen. So it's very easy, uh, if you're not paying attention, to be exposed to uh, an excess amount of acetaminophen. Other products? include Panadol, uh, Dristan, Corsidin, Vicks Formula 44, Dimatap, Alexer, uh, excuse me, uh, Alka-Seltzer Plus, Cold, Robitussin, well anyway, you get the point. The issue here is, even though it's an OTC drug, always read the label for dosage and warning.